In the suit filed at the Milimani High Court by the lawyers of the Teacher Service Commission, the government is seeking to be allowed to file contempt proceedings against NAT, its chairman Wilson Socion, and its acting Secretary General, Muzonzili. If the High Court allows the petition, TSC will be asking the court to level a 20 million shilling fine on NAT. TSC will also be seeking that both Socion and Zili are committed to civil jail for six months. TSC acted upon advice given from the office of the Attorney General that had represented them at the industrial court. This government wants to turn us into slaves. That we comply with everything they tell us to do. We shall defy. We shall. It's our right. The teacher strike issue also got its way to the Senate with the chairman of the Education Committee, Mutahi Kagwe, delivering a statement. Mutahi reaffirmed to the Senate the sentiments by the government that it had fulfilled its obligations relating to the 1997 deal and there was need for fresh negotiations. The government side is therefore consorting with the hope of continuing with the negotiations if the unions will agree. <laughs> Talks between NAT and the government led by Labor Secretary Kazungu Kambi collapsed last night following the refusal by NAT to call off the strike. Before any negotiations, uh, that the NAT are supposed to call off the strike and have not done that. So we cannot go on because doing that will be breaking the law and I cannot do that. As you are aware, we have been here since 10. We have waited, we have deliberated, but a very simple communication is that there has been no deal. So, we have been taking, taken round and round and round. We have been patient. Lord Mayabi, JSO at 7.